Hey guys, this is Bay Powder. I'm coming to you with a, another one of my amazing multi box gold guides to show you how easy it is to make lots of gold with less effort and without a group. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, baby powder. I'm just getting into multi boxing, you know, you know, I only have two or three accounts. Is there any farms I can do? Well, this farm I have coming to you right now is just that it's you know a really small area that you can cover you can easily solo this farm uh there's some other farms i've tried to help mention to people that they could possibly do th things like the crimson whelpling farm or possibly like the black tabby cat farm or maybe primal shadow just because there's such a small area to cover uh like for instance the primal shadow farm you just have to cover all of the shadow portals and, and stuff uh which if you want to go check out that farm you can look up at the top of the screen go check that one out but um anyway the primal shadow you know there's only four portals so there's only four areas to cover so you could have say you know a three-man you know multi-boxing group and have two of the portals covered by your multi-boxers and then have your main tune jump between two portals uh that that's probably the only way i can really see it working uh uh, but like with the Crimson Wealthling Farm, you're all around in a circle, which I'll leave a link to that one as well. Uh, but, you know, you could just, you know, have your three-man team in a circle and possibly have to move your main just a little bit, uh, you know, and, you know, just turn them just enough to where they can hit the mobs as they're coming out. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this farm. And I'll show you what I mean by you could actually do this with a two-man group. Uh, very easily uh, You could solo it, but I would you know for the most efficiency I would suggest at least multi boxing with a two-man group But of course for the most amount of loot the more multi boxers you have the more loot you get So five-man group is the way I did it and I'll show you how I did it right now All right guys, so for this farm we are located in Northern and we are in the dragon blight right at the very top of the map over here near lights trust right here inside this cave right here and this was actually shown to me by a friend of mine named tanker uh but uh it has actually been featured in a video before i think it was like a year ago uh where people were solo farming this uh, but i didn't see anything on multi boxing it uh it really is a very small cave but the mobs do instant respawn now they are a little bit slower at instant respawning than other farms that I've covered, but I do believe that might be because there's just not as many mobs as there usually is with other farms that I cover. But doesn't mean that you still don't get a lot of loot because I I'm gonna show you it's it's really nice with it being in such a small area, even with the dense amount of mobs. Uh, because as you see here, I have my main tune set up right here where X is at the very back of the cave right here. Uh, right here where this little uh, altar is I think is there's a little scene here with like Arthas and stuff or something uh, back in the Wrath of Lich King thing or whatever if you're questing out here and then I have all of my potatoes at the very entrance of the cave right here where Skull is okay that's the only two spots you need to cover I mean as you see I mean it's so small you can even solo you know spawn these mobs uh, but for most efficient way of doing it it's, it's better to cover two areas so you, you just don't even have to move i mean you can sit here with one tune you know and have all your other tunes up there or mix match it whatever i just found it easier just to control one tune and bring them down here and just you know spam your macro i was doing for like a minute and a half two minutes and as you see they do instant respawn um one of those kind of got you know off a little bit but other than that the he'll usually spawn like right up in there and I can actually reach him from X. Uh, and yeah, you just sit here for, like I said, a minute and a half, two minutes. As you can see, the, they're they're somewhat slower than, uh, you know, normal respawns, but they are respawning instantly. You see, they're killing them up there. And see, that's where that mob was supposed to be that I had to run out for. Uh, but anyway, that's all you do. And then since it is such a small area, I just near the two minute marker i'll come up here with my main tune come up and grab all of my potatoes and then just you know spam my looterang on all of my tunes grab all this loot all around here from all these mobs here 
and then I will bring all of them down. I will bring all of my tunes down to the very bottom of the map where X is, and then, you know, spam my macro again. Uh, and, you know, or spam my Lutarang again, so that way all of my tunes are getting gear. And, and unlike, or getting uh, loot, unlike, you know, the other, you know, farms where I have just my main tune, uh, you know, collect all the, you know, pa uh, all the loot from all the mobs and you know because it's too much work to actually get all of the potatoes together loot everything and then have to put them back in their spots it just takes too long and it's really in my opinion is not worth doing it with one you know some of my other farms where everything's more scattered out and you know a lot bigger area to cover but with this you know as soon as you're done here you just you know turn your mobs back around and just you know go on back up and that that's that's all you do and it's, it's that simple uh so anyway what we're actually farming out here is the these deathbringer mobs right here and we are looking for this right here the eternal shadow right here which as you can see is uh got a minimum buyout of 189 gold on my realm 74 gold uh region value and it's going at a 0.26 sell rate. Uh, so not bad at all. Um, that stack right there alone is about 15,000 gold. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, you know, different material. Uh, I do realize with these, you can actually just buy them off a of vendor, but you're still spending gold. Whereas here you're getting the materials, you know, completely, you know, free you know just for your time and farming and enjoying the farm plus you know uh you get you know some different types of mog to possibly throw up on the auction house yeah um uh, the wrath of the lich king mog is not as good as possibly classic or even burning crusade but there are some decent pieces up you know that you can get uh and it does give you a wider variety and it's better to have a wire, wider variety especially with transmog up on the auction house at all times uh, so anyway, I think it's a really good farm. It's really relaxed. Like I said, you can actually get probably a lot more loot than some of the other farms just because, you know, even though some of the spawns seem a little slower and it doesn't seem like maybe as many mobs, you can loot easily with all of your potatoes. Plus, if you are just starting out and you only have, say, two accounts or three accounts, here is a farm you can do. Uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and show you the macro real quick. I almost forgot to go over that. Uh, it is going to be eternal shadow right here uh, slash target DEA slash cast sunfire slash use crystallized shadow because before you can get the eternal shadows you get the crystallized shadow um, which you know it, it's just like moats with you know like moats of uh, harmony moats of air and all that good stuff uh, you know you take 10 of them and you create the eternal uh, so uh, I just go ahead and add that in so it goes ahead and creates those eternals instead of me just having a whole bunch of crystallized shadow in my bag uh, just goes ahead and uh, you know takes care of that for you so you, you're not getting ready to post the stuff up on the auction house or use it for whatever and then you're you know trying to click them real quick and and, and turn them all into eternals it just does it while you're farming uh, so it's, it's you know a nice time saver there so guys, we'll cut the clip, we'll hit a dollar on, and see what I got for the hour. See you there. All right, guys. So we're here in Dollaron, and as far as the loot goes, this is what we got. Uh, I did this on my horde group, so we'll do it on the one tune by itself, and then all the potatoes, and show you what they add to the group. And first up, we have the solo tune, and what they got was. 79 eternal shadows or 79.1 because we got crystallized there one lock box here uh we did get all these items here they're not really going to go over decent sell rates and values but not really worth going over a couple blues here nothing really crazy but we did get these pieces here we got uh the bone plate axe 16k my realm 12k region we got the burning battle axe 35k my, my realm 19k region we got the hagged gun 36k my realm 24k region 
and the vile prey boots 14k my realm 8k region so we'll go ahead and pull our chat box up over here and we will use our macro and that gives us 163,902 gold for the hour for just the solo tomb now we'll go over to our tomb with all the loot from our potatoes add everything up and see what we got for the hour total all right guys so now that we're over here on our other tomb with all the loot from our potatoes let's go ahead and take a look at what they got first up we got 303.9 eternal shadows uh so for that's about what you know around a little over 380 eternal shadows that's pretty awesome uh we got all this loot that's decent value but not really worth getting into you know but hey it's actually you know stuff that will sell and sell a little bit faster than the higher value stuff sometimes but anyway we got a couple blues here again nothing really crazy but they are blue uh we did get the this one right here peak great staff uh 18k my realm 31k region uh we also got this one the disc axe only 2600 my realm but 19k region uh we got the lace trim trim cloak 9k my realm 12k region and the Koshkala buckler is a shield 5k my realm 6k region two of these the vile prey hoods uh almost 3k my realm 9k region and the amber pine spalders it's a shoulder piece 8k my realm only 2k region though uh so we'll go ahead and pull up our chat box once again and use our macro and that gives us 189,499 gold for the hour for our potatoes. So guys, that gives us a total of 353,401 gold for the hour. Not bad. Plus, you know, it gives you a different material and a different, you know, type of transmog to put up on the auction house. So I, I would say it's a really nice farm. You know, uh, it's very relaxed. You can just sit there and, you know, one thing that's really nice is you can actually loot every single one of the mobs with every single one of your tunes unlike some of the other uh multi-box farms that i do all right guys well i hope you guys enjoyed the uh farm multi-box farm on the eternal shadow uh and you know i hope this actually helps some of the people that are looking for farms to do with only two accounts or three accounts uh you know it, it gives you a smaller area to cover so you can you know really you can have only two accounts and just sit in one spot with both your tunes uh it it works just fine that way uh but yeah anyway guys uh if you liked it go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below also uh hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you make sure you don't miss another one of my amazing multi-box gold guides i have coming out and if there is a farm you like for me to try to multi-box and then post a video go ahead and leave me a comment down below let me know what it is and i'll try it out see if it works if it works i'll post a video but in that guys that's all i have this is baby powder peace i'm out